Once you guys got another video, Windows 11 brings major feature improvements to the Windows 11 operating system. This is the Windows 11 build 23475. It's in dev at the moment, which means it will be released later on to us. And these are some of the features that you can see once this rollout is done to you through your Windows updates. I'm going to go through some of them here and show you some of the fixes that Microsoft have done in this build. And you can take a look at them. Some of them are pretty cool and uh, you'll be able to get an idea of what these are. But first, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check the links in the video description. They're offering a 30% discount if you purchase uh, anything on their store. I'll leave all the links for Office and Windows in the video description, and you can use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09 and apply this to your order you will need to create an account with them once you've done your purchase you can choose paypal to pay for this and then they will send you uh, your product key inside your account here and once you get your key you'll be able to then uh, activate your version of windows in the windows activation center okay so let me just quickly show you we're on the insider program here on the dev channel and that means that we have the latest updates uh, for this particular Windows operating system. These will be rolled out to you, as I've mentioned earlier on. And you can see here, we are in the dev uh, channel. So what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to have some new features rolled out to us. One of these is going to be inside the home page and address bar inside Windows Explorer. And I'll quickly show you that right now. And this is what the Explorer is going to look like. So now the File Explorer is powered by the Windows app SDK. Also, Microsoft is introducing an update home page and file explorer running the WinUI. So recommended files for users who are signed in with the Azure Active Directory accounts will display as a carousel and support files and thumbnails, which is going to come soon uh, to this update. A quick access for favorites and recent also received an update as well with the design based on the WinUI. Microsoft have also introducing an update address bar and search bar in File Explorer, as you can see at the top. The new address bar intelligently recognizes local and cloud folders with built-in status. For OneDrive users, the address bar now displays sync status and also a pop-out menu uh, with the OneDrive storage uh, quota information will be on there as well. So that is the new feature updates for the Home and Explorer area. So we'll take a look at the other uh, type of update that's been done, which is to do with uh, digital lighting. So Microsoft is committed uh, to improving the RGB device and software ecosystem for users. And this is going to be useful because a lot of companies have jumped on board like Acer, Asus, HP, HyperX, Logitech, Razer, and a bunch of others. And there'll be more joining. And this means that the uh, lighting is going to be useful for RGB. So no more complicated RGB software setups where you've got multiple different software. I think they're trying to implement it and have it as one. And that will be really useful for people that enjoy having uh, RGB systems and make it a lot easier. You've got Blink here, Rainbow and uh, Rainbow Reverse. I'm pretty sure they're going to be adding more to this in the future. You've got your brightness control here. You've got your effect speed and also you've got your color palette here which means you can change your colors as well so this is something that's just been new and added in which is going to be a great addition for windows i don't know how far they're going to go with this and whether it will completely replace all of the software that you have to download and install on the system in the future i hope so because it's an absolute nightmare installing tons of different software for different types of hardware, for instance, Gigabyte, MSI, and all these things. You can check out uh, the dynamic uh, lighting device here, and it will go through and give you more information on what I'm giving you here because it's quite in-depth. Uh, but if it's something that's going to replace all of that, that will be fantastic because obviously most people nowadays uh, don't want to download extra software and put it on the system because it's added bloat, and RGB is quite... Uh, bloaty type software anyway and it really does sort of cause a lot of problems for people next up is the emojis uh, we're going to take a look at so the unicode version of emoji 15 is starting to roll out uh, for the insiders on the dev channel users will now be able to 
uh, see and search for other emojis that they want to search for in the search box here. And there's a load of new ones that they've been adding, which includes more hearts, animals, and uh, some other new emojis like faces and things like that. So there's a bunch of them that they've added on here. And in good old Microsoft fashion, they'll spend a lot of energy uh, upgrading emojis and searching for emojis down there rather than spending time on making the right-click context menu a lot more usable and also fixing other things like the start menu, which I think is not that great. I think that's a much more better place to put your energy rather than on emojis. But that's just my opinion. Uh, another one that they've been working on is uh, the Microsoft uh, Store here. You can now install free apps and games from the search results. And this is what you can do now inside here. You will need to hit the library uh, tab down the bottom here and run the update. And this will update all of the uh, Microsoft Store here. And there's quite a big update on this. So you just have to let it run through and then you'll be able to uh, install free apps and games from the search results that you find. The ability to install free apps and games from the search results will begin rolling out uh, to users on the uh, Canary and Dev channels in March or later March. And it's now available for most users to start using today. So have a check of yours if you use the Microsoft Store. Now they've also done some other upgrades inside the Microsoft Store as well. They've redesigned uh, the gaming and movie cards. So when you're browsing inside uh, the Microsoft Store now, they're saying that it's even more enjoyable with the redesign of game and movie cards. So these cards will provide more space for illustrations, adding more color to uh, the design and making it easier to find your favorite uh, product. So you can see here, this is exactly what it's going to look like inside the Microsoft Store. Now, of course, with every update, they are going to try to fix uh, some stuff as well. And you'll see down here, there will be a list of all the updates that they've done. And I'll leave a link for that in the video description, showing you in more detail some of the updates that they've rolled out. They've also got the fixes that they've done, which I've said, which is your taskbar, the start menu, notifications, uh, backup and restore. They've done some uh, fixes on those. You'll be able to read them here. They are on this list as well. But of course, with every fix with Microsoft, there's also known issues. And of course, there's a bunch of those as well. So whatever they fix, they also break. So there's a bunch of fixes that they've done. And there's some now newer fixes that they're going to have to do. So one step forward, two steps back as always. And again, uh, these will all be listed in the notes here. As you can see, this is straight from Microsoft's website and it'll give you a full list of all the updates, all the fixes, all the new features that they've added and also some of the known issues that they have with this update. And you'll be able to go through here and look at these uh, and, at your own leisure. So I'll leave those in the video description for you. Anyway, that is the update uh, for the Windows 11 uh, build 23475 in the dev channel. It should be released to you very uh, soon. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of help to you. And uh, don't forget, hit the like button and give us a comment down below what you want to see next. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Catch you in the next one. I hope you're enjoying this lovely weather. Bye for now.